Hey guys, this is Allison with Frogface Studio. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this really adorable sock monkey scarf. So let's get started. To make the scarf, you're going to need some waist yarn, two buttons, a needle and thread, an Addy Express, a size G crochet hook, a tapestry needle, a pom pom maker, or your preferred method of making a pom-pom. I like the way this turns out, so I'm going to be using this. You'll need a pair of scissors. You will also need, I love this yarn. I like the classic sock monkey look, so I've chosen red, linen, and marled mocha. To start the scarf, we're going to take our waist yarn we're going to cast on. I like to start with the first black pen and then go behind the next one and then in front of the one after. Behind and front, behind, front. All the way around. Make sure to put the yarn in your tension. Then we're going to do four more rows of this waist yarn. Grab color A, make sure to set your stitch marker to zero. We're going to do three rows with this color. Go a little bit slow just in case the stitches from the previous round want to jump up. Sometimes they get caught on these needles, pens or hooks or whatever you want to call them. Like that right there. When that happens, you just push that down. Alrighty, now we're going to do three rows in total. Make sure to cut a long tail. Grab color B. We're going to work 10 rows with this. And again, start slowly. Usually when you change a color, the row before, before likes to get caught sometimes. I didn't mention this earlier, but we're going to when you change colors, just grab the two tails and, and uh, put a little join there, or put a little, not really a knot, but just to hold those together. Now we're going to grab color C and we're going to do 25 rows of this. If my tail will go in there. Make sure to go slow on this first round. As you can see, this is already getting caught. And this one after as well.
there is 25 rows. So cut a long tail, place that in the center, and I remembered that I forgot to do a little secure here. Now with color A, we're going to do three rows. And go ahead and tie these together loosely. All right, do our stitch marker or stitch counter. I think I've been calling it stitch marker this whole time. Do three rows of the red. Go slowly. There. There's three. Cut a long tail. Grab color B. And for the final bit of our scarf, we're going to grab color C and we are going to do 150 rows. I would recommend grabbing a chair because you are going to be here for a minute. This is definitely faster than standard knitting, but you will want to get a chair. I'll see you guys in a second. Oh my goodness. You guys still with me? That was a lot. Alrighty. We're going to cut ourselves a long tail. We're going to put that in the center. I need to stretch this out a little bit. It gets pretty, pretty wound up in there. So, kind of open that up a little bit. Set our stitch counter to zero. Do five rows of this waste yarn. And then I'm going to show you guys how, how we're going to assemble our monkey. Make sure to go slow, just in case the stitches decide to get all sassy. I think we're good. Okay, that's one. All righty. Cut that off. Let me grab these two, secure that. There we go. Alrighty, we're going to take this tail and put it into the center. And then to get the, to get our scarf off of the machine, you just crank the hook and the stitches start to come off. Sometimes they get stuck, like this one right here. Just grab our little needle and get that little guy out of there. Well, easy for me to say. There we go. Sheesh. To make the ears, grab the color C, which is marled mocha. And we're going to start by making a magic circle. We're going to start our magic circle by taking the tail end of the yarn and placing it under our ring finger and pinky. 
Then holding the working yarn with your right hand, wrap the yarn over your thumb. Take your index finger and your middle finger and go over the working yarn and under the tail end of the yarn. And that'll make a circle. Then you're going to flip that over and pull the working yarn through the ring and then chain one to secure it. Next, we're going to work eight single crochets into this ring. One. To finish this round, pull the tail to close the circle then we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're going to alternate two single crochets in the first chain and one single crochet in the next. I apologize. My, our doggy is a roadside rescue and we think he used to smoke when he was, when he was a kid because he hacks, so I'm sorry. Okay, so to start this round, we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then one in the next, and repeat that all the way around, two in the next, one, and then one after that, whoops, one, and two, one, and then finish with two in the last single crochet. You should have 12 stitches when we finish. So let's double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we're gonna make sure to leave a long tail, probably, probably a foot and a half. That probably doesn't need to be that long, but why not? I'm gonna work on making the second ear and then I'll show you guys how to attach it to the scarf. Alrighty, we've got our two ears made, so let's put them on the scarf. Let's grab our tapestry needle. And decide which side we want to be the front. This is gonna be the back, because you can see where we've joined. And once we have finished tying these off, you won't see where the join is, but I, I'm gonna put them on the front side here, so. I'm gonna put his ears right about here. And what we're gonna do is see this edge just right, this row right here on the edge of the scarf. Just go ahead and pull, just go through one of the stitches. And we're just, and we're going to and we're going to whip stitch this on. So since I came up this side, I'm going to go down here and then back up through the bottom. And you can do this any way you'd like. This is um, just the way that I like to do it. It is completely up to you. You can also make this scarf however long you want it. I'll show you guys the measurement when I'm finished, but to make this longer, you would just add more rows of the, of the body of the sock monkey. Since I'm making this for a little kid size, I figured, I think this will end up being about 31 inches, but we'll see here in a minute. We have our ears attached. So now let's put the eyes on. Got our eyes. We've got our ears. Let's make the pom-pom. 
grab color A, which is, I'm using this red. It's a really pretty color. If I can find the tail. I know I'm not making it look very easy, but having a yarn ball winder is amazing. It makes these really nice cakes. I did a review on the LAMXD ball winder. I'll leave the link if you guys want to watch the review on that. It, it works great. I love it. Now that we've got our pom-pom, our ears, and our eyes attached, let's get turn flip this over, and then we're gonna secure the color changes. Make sure not to pull it too tightly so that it doesn't bunch. So now all that's left to do is to close up the ends of our scarf. So grab the tail end of the of this red color. Grab your tapestry needle. And then we're going to pick up each stitch all the way around right here. That's why it's good to use waste yarn that's a different color from your working yarn. Once you've removed your waste yarn and you've made sure that you have all your stitches on on this on your working yarn pull your tail and then weave in your ends let's finish the other side and we are almost finished with our monkey That is how you make the sock monkey scarf. I'm gonna measure this really quick for you guys just so that you can see if this, if this, to see if you like this pattern as written. And you can always make it a little bit longer if you need to because I personally would would wear this scarf, it's really cute. So this scarf is 45 inches as it. Like I said, if you want it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, just reduce the amount of stitches. The stitches for the main body of the scarf after you, after you complete color, the second color B is 150 rows. So you would increase or decrease to make it smaller or shorter. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to sharing another one with you soon. Have a great day. Bye.